These four people have never met before, but now they have a chance to win some fantastic prizes. But there's one thing standing in their way. It's the MPUK chase. The chase is on. Hello and welcome to the MPUK Chase. This is part of Nintendo Players UK Mental Health Awareness Week uh, in which we're supporting Samaritans. Uh, please type exclamation mark donate or exclamation mark raffle into the chat and you'll be able to get some links which can refer you to our donation page. Uh, for Samaritans, or you can enter our raffle for a chance to win a £50 Nintendo eShop voucher uh, or some Amiibo. Um, please check those pages for more information. Um, but shall we get on with the show? Welcome, welcome to the chase. Uh, it's been a long time coming. A lot of hard work has gone into this, uh, in which I hope it is uh, expressed today. Um, but we'll see what happens, shan't we? Uh, let's meet our first player. Uh, we've got people from all over the UK, from the Nintendo Players UK community. Uh, Newcastle, Manchester, South Wales and Gloucestershire. Uh, shall we meet our first contestant? First to take on the chaser is Cyber. <laughs> Hello Cyber, welcome. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure, good to be here. And which community are you from? I'm representing my original uh, Nintendo Players UK community, which is Manchester. Manchester, lovely, lovely. Uh, good luck to everyone. Uh, well, good luck to you, I mean, but I hope everyone up there is uh, supporting you. Uh, what would you say is your favourite Nintendo Switch game? That's quite a tough one, and I love a lot of the games, and I've certainly played a ton of Splatoon 2, but I have to say, my favourite game on the Switch is probably Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, just because I can't imagine a car race with any tighter controls and such good tracks, it's just fantastic. Oh, that's fair enough. Everyone loves a bit of Mario Kart, don't they? Absolutely. <laughs> right, <laughs> shall we get on with our questions? Yeah, let's give it a go. So, Cash Builder. Each player will get five questions. Uh, each question is worth 100 points. Uh, they're in. They're wanting to win a nice little Nintendo goodie bag. One question, i.e. 100 points, equals one prize as part of this goodie bag. So you want to aim for 500 points really, don't you? If I can. <laughs> do you think you can do it? Let's see. Let's see. Let's, That's not saying see. anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your time starts... Now, Mario's brother is called what? Luigi. Correct. True or false, a Nintendo Switch Lite can be connected to a TV? False. Correct. Which Shin Megami Tensei series title released on Nintendo Switch at the end of 2021? That would be Shin Megami Tensei 5. Correct. Which shape features in the title of Square Enix's recent strategy game. Triangle. That's right. And in the Donkey Kong Country series, four collectibles in each level spell out what word? Kong. That's correct. Well done. That means you've got 500 points going into Ew. our 1v1 against the Chaser. Now, no. the Chaser, who do you think it'll be? Oh, I must admit, I have seen them. I'm, I've seen someone backstage who I recognise, so <laughs> I, think, I think a clever cloth could be showing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay, let's bring on the chaser. It's Pixel Squid. Pixel Squid, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing well, and I really hope that epic music of the chase just played right before I showed up. Yes, it did, don't worry. But yeah, doing well. <laughs> okay. 
Right, shall we get some money on the table then? Uh, so, yeah. Cyber's earned 500 so far. What's the low offer going to be? 300. 300, yeah, that's great. Yes. Okay. And what is the high offer? 700. 700. Oh, that's quite a good offer. Um, do you want to chat with your team, Cyber, to see what they all think? Yeah, we'll think. What, what we want to get back here, yeah, mate. Yeah. Take the 500 to get back. You've got no idea what the questions are. Just mm -hmm. play safe. Yeah, better play safe, definitely. Yeah, 500. Yeah. Sweet. Unanimous. That's, yeah. that's easy advice, that is. I think I, <laughs> I think I listened to them. We don't know how hard they're going to be, so I wouldn't want to take the risk. Go high. And I've done well enough, to hopefully, to stick with the 500. So let's play with that and hope for the best. Okay, that's great. We'll go for the 500 then. Okay. Cyber. The chase is on. Let's get up your first question. Okay, here we go. Please DM me your answer. What is the name of the move that Quillfish needs to use multiple times to evolve in the game Pokemon Legends Arceus? Is it A, Barbarage, B, Poison Jab, or C, Dark Pulse? Okay. I've received your answers. Okay, so you've gone with B, Poison Jab. Any reason why you went with B? But I don't know it. I'm not beat Legends Arceus yet. All I can remember is I think it's it's got some poison typing, so I'm hoping for the best, really. Okay. The correct answer is... It's A. I'm sorry. It's Bar Barrage. That's all right. That's all right. Not too surprised. Yeah. A quillfish needs to use it 20 times to uh, evolve into a barrage of barb barrages. Yes. An overquill. Yes. <laughs> and the chaser has gone correct with barb barrage. No worries. Chaser's on the board now, but plenty of time, plenty of questions left. Let's move on to the next one. Complete the title of this game. Hyrule Warriors, Age of blank. Is it A, Ruin, B, Calamity, or C, Sheikah? Just wait for the answers to come through. It's great when Discord decides to not work very well. I'm going to actually switch this to uh, to data because that's probably going to work quicker. So, Cyber, you've chosen B, Calamity. Does, does that sound right? Yeah, stuck with B. Um, I have played this game, so I'm, I'm more confident in this one. Okay, that's all right. Then. Are you sure? <laughs> I, I, I'm not. I'm gonna not gonna be scared yet. I'm gonna stick with it. <laughs> Are you taunting? Right. The correct <laughs> answer. <laughs> the correct answer is. Yeah, you're completely right. It's B, Age of Calamity, yeah. and the chaser has put B also goes with Calamity as well. So everyone moves that way that round. That's great. Okay, so you only need three more questions correct, and you're home home straight. Okay. Let's, move on. Let's move on to the next question. Which of these games did not receive a limited edition Pro Controller? Which did not? Is it A, Monster Hunter Rise, B, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, or C, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Okay, you've chosen B, 
B, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Any reason? Yes, I've stuck with B. Um, I believe Xenoblade Chronicles 2 got one. I think that was a pink one. I seem to recall seeing something about Rise. I could be wrong. And I seem to recall Smash Bros. wrong with just an X on it. So, not 100% sure, but there's a gut speaking there. Okay, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. The correct answer is... Yes, you're right. It is Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Oof. Very good. <laughs> and the chaser has also gone with the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Have you both played this game? I haven't. Um, but honestly, that question was like it almost got, got me because I was thinking of Xenoblade Chronicles Two. <laughs> but not today. That may me do a thing. Yeah, I, I've not played it. I've heard great things, but my gosh, you need a lot of time to sink into that game. I'm not sure I'm ready for the commitment yet. <laughs> you do, and it's a very good game, so I do recommend uh, all of the Xenoblade Chronicle games. Let's move on to the next question. Which was the first handheld console to release after GameCube in Europe? So we're looking for the first handheld console to release after the GameCube in Europe. Is it A, Game Boy Advance? Is it B, Game Boy Advance SP? Or is it C, Nintendo DS? This is probably quite a tough one. Okay, we've got your answers. So, Cyber, you've chosen B, Game Boy Advance like SP. Me. Did you have a Game Boy Advance SP? I didn't, actually, but what I recall is the DS releasing before the Wii, so I believe um, the GBA would have released, hopefully, before the Game GameCube, and that left it between B or C for me, with my memory, so I'm hoping... The Game Boy Advance release, then the GameCube, then the SP. That's, I, I mean, I can't argue with that logic. You've you've gone you've gone places with that, so that's all right. The correct answer is yes, it is the Game Boy Advance SP. Very good, well done. That's one step closer to home. The chaser actually went wrong. And said Game Boy Advance. What what was that about? Yeah. No idea. I, I, I mean, all the previous questions was B, so I'll, I'll, I felt just A. <laughs> <laughs> that was the um, only reason. Like, I uh, I should have gone for B, but uh, that uh, area of Nintendo was kind of a mesh for me because I was I, I was born, but I was like so young then, so. <laughs> So one step, one step more and you'll be home free. Let's get on with the next question, shall we? In which country is Nintendo of Europe based? Is it A, Spain, B, Austria, or C, Germany? Okay, your answers have come through. Chose C, Germany. Um, thoughts? I'm pretty confident on this one. Um, I remember loving the, the old Nintendo Europe Directs. We used to have the specific ones. We had um, Shibata, I think his name was. He was a lovely guy. I remember him. And I also remember lots of the cartridges you find. It's got the writing such as Breitab Welviara, which is German writing. So I'm pretty confident it's Germany. Okay. That's, you know... Once again, logic, can't, can't fault it. The correct answer is, it is Germany. Congratulations, you're yeah. back. You're back, well done. And just out of curiosity, the chaser did also put C, Germany. So well done, well done, Cyber. Okay, so that's 500 points for you guys. Well done, well done, Cyber. 
that ensures you have some nice prizes as long as you can beat the chaser. So that's one of our team through. Hopefully we can get another one. Next to face the chaser, it's Joel. Hello Joel, welcome. Hi, thanks for having us. Um, I'm Chris and I've got back and some tricky questions there. Um, obviously don't go for me. Um, I'm, I'm representing um, Nintendo Newcastle. Favourite game? It, it changes, honestly, but I'm, I'm quite into Tetris 99 at the minute. The oh yeah. And the fact it's so um, repetitively good. Yeah. Yeah, very good, very good. Uh, what do you think about Cyber's performance there, and what do you think of our chaser this evening? Cyber did really good. Um, so the the question about the the handheld console coming out after the um, GameCube, I thought that was a really tricky one. Um, quite disappointed in the chaser not getting that one, if I'm honest. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to my next round. Oh, well, that's some fighting words. Oh dear. Right. Let's get the questions up, shall we? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Right, your cash builder. You ready for your cash builder question? Yeah. Okay. Your time starts now. What colour is Kirby? Pink. Correct. What does Mario do with Cappy to take control of an enemy? He throws it. That's correct. Which series is the character Min Min featured? Arms. Correct. Stantler evolves into which Pokemon first introduced in Pokemon Legends Arceus? Weirdia. Correct. And finally, what is the name of the vibration technology used in Joy-Con? HD Rumble. Correct. Well done. Very good. That's another 500 points. Well done. Well yeah. done. Alright, so now it's time to bring back the chaser. Welcome back, Chaser. What did you think of Joel's performance there? Very good. Especially in fighting words as, a, <laughs> as well. Oh dear. Oh no. Hopefully I haven't made too much of an enemy. Uh, let's see uh, what the Chaser offers you. So Chaser, what are you offering us today? For the lowest, 400. For the highest, 800. Oh, 400. That's a good offer, actually. So, 400 is the low offer, and 800 is the high offer. Okay, do you want to discuss with your team what what do you think? So you've got you got your 500, the low offer is 400, and the high offer is 800. What what team? What do you think? I think you've got enough to to do to back yourself. I think you've got the knowledge, and your knowledge is broad enough. I think you could back yourself. Yeah, definitely. I, I struggle with some of those questions, but you got them, so I think just take it. <laughs> they, were, they were very confident answers. Uh, you got the same score as me, so surely you can do just the same, if not better. So however confident you're feeling, um, I think you can go for it. Okay, so Joel, can you tell me what you're actually going for? Well, this piece I slipped up last time, so I'm going to go for 800. You're going to go for the 800. Wow, that's brilliant. I am, yeah. I'm only yeah. here once. Yeah, that's very true. That's very true. So you've gone for the 800. That's that's very close. That's very dangerous. Okay, that's that's great. So you've chosen 800. Let's get it. Yeah. Let's get the chase on, shall we? Okay. So your first question What is the name of the rhythm mini game featured in the Nintendo Switch launch title One Two Switch? Is it A. Baboon, B. Gorilla, or C. Orangutan? That's the name of the rhythm game featured in One Two Switch.
Okay, we've got the answers. Joel, you've gone for B, Gorilla. Have you played this? Yeah. No, I've, I've not actually played it. Not confident at all. It came out so long ago. I know there's one where you hold a joy con sort of as if you were a gorilla or a monkey. So I've gone with what, what I think is the most obvious one. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Uh, the correct answer... It is Gorilla, well done. That brings you one step closer to home. The Chaser has put... Gorilla also. Did you play it, Pixel? I played it at the original Switch, London Switch uh, like event, which was super cool. But I just originally remember the gorilla in my head. That's in the trailer and the baby in, in my head. It's always in my head. It's, yeah. it's scary stuff. So. Oh dear. Okay. So let's move on to the next question. In Splatoon 2, the bamboozler is what type of weapon? Is it A, a blaster? B, a charger? Or is it C, a roller? What type of weapon is the bamboozler? Okay. That was very quick there. I expected that at the chaser. But, very good. Okay, Joel. You've chosen B, a charger. Why is that? If I remember rightly, it's bamboo, it's long, like all the chargers are. Um, I'm sure it's got a sight on it as well, if I remember looking at the game. Um, I think I've got that right, but, but we are up against this new team, Jesus, so let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, the correct answer is charger, that's correct, well done. And in no surprise to anyone, the chaser has gone with the also charger. So that's great, well done. Uh, have you used the bamboozler? Do you use it often, Pixel? Secretly, it's the best weapon in the game. Uh, I just hate for the memes, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, funny it's, like... it's a great weapon, honestly. It's good fun. Okay, three questions left you need to get home. So let's get, let's get this 800 back, shall we? Let's get on to the next question. Nodon feature in which of these games? Xenoblade Chronicles 2, that's A. B, Game Builder Garage. Or C, Mario Tennis Aces. That's Nodon, N-O-D-O-N. Okay. So, Joel, you've chosen B, Game Builder Garage. Yeah. Have you played Game Builder Garage? I haven't. If I remember rightly, the, the individual things you can do, like kind of like convert moves, stuff like that, are called no -dons. Okay. Yeah, that's fair so enough. I'm okay. The correct answer is indeed B, Game Builder Garage. Well done. And the Chaser has also put B, Game Builder Garage. Well done. Well done. Uh, you actually did uh, a feature. You played, uh, well, you created a game for Nintendo Player UK's uh, Creator Camp last year, didn't you, Pixel? I, have, I was going to plug that anyways. Go play Round Ball. It's a very fun Game Builder Garage game. Ramble. Like, like, yeah, I, Ramble. yeah, amazing stuff. I do agree that is it was a very good game. I c I could never get that last apple, that one that's underneath. Okay, so, that hard to get. Yeah, yeah. it's a hard <laughs> one. Okay, that's closer to home now. Let's get the next question up. In which year did the game Arms release? Was it A, 2017, B, 2018, or was it C, 2019? Oh, that was awfully quick from Joel there. Was. And, well, both of you, to be fair, that was very quick. Uh, Joel, you've gone with 
2017. Yeah. Yeah, are you confident with that? I am. I'm pretty sure, obviously, 2017 was the launch year. Um, we had Breath of the Wild, we had, we had an April Mario Kart, and then we had a gap, and I'm pretty sure I'm um, slapped in there. Okay. Uh, the correct answer. is 2017, that's A, well done. Uh, and the chaser has also gone with A. 2017, very good. Okay, so it's very close now. You've only got one question left, but the chaser is two, two steps behind you. So you've got to be very careful. Potentially your final question now, let's go. In Animal Crossing New Horizons, a single clump of weeds can be sold for how much in Nook's Cranny? Is it A, one bell? Is it B, ten bells? Or is it C, twenty bells? Oh, okay, we got your answers. Joel, you've gone with B, 10 bells. Uh -huh. Do you know uh -huh. this? Um, I think I, I do. I know it's, it's definitely not one bell because when there's those events where there's at least the, the villager that turns up, I'm pretty sure that's what they're worth. Um, but we'll, we'll find out. Okay. Joel, the correct answer. Is 10 bells. Well done. Congratulations. You're through. You're through to the final chase. Well done. 800 points going into the bank there. Very good. Uh, just just so you know, the chaser actually put C, 20 bells. Uh, obviously not a very avid Animal Crossing fan, are we, Pixel? Nah, I don't. I don't. No. It's, it's been like two years since I last played it. <laughs> Fair enough. That's all right. So Joel has managed to come back with an 800 points, making the total 1,300. Very good, very good. Well done, Joel. Uh, so next to face the chaser is not. Welcome, not. Thank you for joining us today. Hi, how's it going? Now. I wonder which group you come from. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Nintendo Gloucestershire. Very good. Nice to have a representative. Um, <laughs> now, favourite Switch game? It's it's so hard because there's so many good games and you can't... So I, I can either measure it by which ones I spend most of my time on or which ones I think about the most and I'm going to have to go with Breath of the Wild, as cliche as it sounds. I just I can't wait for that sequel. I'm just I just want to play it again. I honestly would have thought you'd gone with Monster Hunter Rise because you're always on that. Yeah, game. it it was between the two, and I think the only reason I'm playing Monster Hunter Rise more now is because it's newer. But and I've I've done everything in Breath of the Wild. It's it, I've completed it to death. So <laughs> I just I I just need more now. <laughs> Fair enough. Very good. Okay. Are you ready to answer some questions? Yeah. <laughs> Are you feeling confident? I'm. Very, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I was doing really well with Cyber's questions, but then Joel's <laughs> questions I really struggled on. So that's like the positive of being third is I get that kind of like I have my, had my confidence peaked and then I had it smashed. So we will just kind of have to see where this goes. <laughs> oh no, no! I'm sure you'll do all right. <laughs> okay. Right. So you get five questions. Here we go. Not. Your time starts now. What colour is Dixie Kong's hair? I have no idea. Oh, um, pink? It's yellow. True or false, Fire Emblem Warriors released only on Nintendo Switch? False. Correct. How many starter Pokemon can a new trainer choose from in the Galar region? Three. Correct. What is the name of Yoshi's canine companion? I have 
no idea. Pass. It's Poochie. Complete the name of this Mario Kart 8 Deluxe course. Tokyo blank. Ah, oh, I'm just completely drawing a blank. Um, oh no. I can imagine the track, I just can't remember what it's called. Is this the last question? It's the last question. You've only got a couple of seconds left. Oh, no, oh. too late. The answer was Blur, Tokyo Blur. Oh, I wouldn't, yeah, no, I just, I could see the track in my head and I just couldn't think of what it was called. That's all right, I think, th I think three's respectable. Um. It's in the middle, <laughs> it's in the middle. There's, I think some of those questions were a bit hard, maybe. But... Yeah, it's the things you don't think about, you don't think about, um, like, Dixie Kong's hair. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Like, right. if you know it, you know it, if you don't. Then, yeah, you know. yeah. Okay, let's bring on the chaser. Welcome back. Welcome back, Pixel. What did you think of Knott's performance there? Dixie Con hair. <laughs> That's all. That's all. <laughs> but yeah, very well. Okay. Now, Pixel. On the board, we've got 300 as the middle offer. What are we going to offer for the lower offer? 100. 100. That seems a bit insulting, but fair enough. Uh, <laughs> and... Fine, 200. 200. No, 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 it's too late. It's too late. <laughs> uh, and what about the higher offer? Let's go with 700. 700. I think that's all right. Yes. I think that's all right. Okay, so those are the offers. So, not. What are you thinking? Um, well, what does everyone else think? That's true. I think you got unlucky there. I think you got very lucky. You definitely know a lot more when it's not about Dixie Kong. <laughs> but, but we want you back, so just, you know, do whatever makes you confident. I think you had the toughest cash builder there. Um, I think especially the DixieCon question, it was hard to get separating the hat from the hair. I think what's, what's going on, the time pressure. So I wouldn't be disheartened. I would stay confident. I'm sure you can bring the 300 home. Do, do, do what? Do the 300 or the 700? No, the, three, the 300. The 300. The 300. Okay. Okay. Okay, so not what are you going to go with? I, I would have been tempted with the lower offer had it not been so abysmal. So I'm gonna, I'm, I definitely don't think I'll do the hard one, but the multiple choice makes it somewhat easier, I think, than just trying to think of it off the top of your head. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'll just stick with the middle one. Stick with the 300, that's respectful. Yeah. Chaser, what do you think? I agree. Maybe I put the low one so low, so you encourage to the middle one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, if you say so. If you say so. <sighs> right, this is tense. Here we go. Which game in Bethesda's The Elder Scrolls series released in 2017? Was it A. Blades? Was it B. Skyrim? Or was it C. Online? So not you've gone with you've gone with a blades. Yeah, I'm not confident, but the my thinking here is because this is more a switch based quiz, and I I I know that obviously Skyrim is quite old at this point. I've never heard of Elder Scrolls Online, so but I'm presuming that that's more likely to be like a PC based game. So I went for Blades because it's the one that I know for certain was on switch so okay that's that's fair enough the correct answer is b skyrim <sighs> sorry not. really yes it came out in 2017 i think it feels it so around, much older than that i think it was around november actually oh. right uh so the chaser the so the chaser's now on the board 
He'll be okay. He'll be okay. We've got plenty more <laughs> questions. Plenty more questions. Here we go. Who was the first character added to the first Fighter's Pass for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Was it A, Byleth, B, Joker, or C, Hero, Dragon Quest? So we're looking for the first character added to the first Fighter's Pass. Okay. Not, you've gone with B, Joker. Do you remember? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty certain. I'm pretty sure of this one. But I, I still could be wrong, but I just remember not knowing who he was at the time. Oh right. Okay. <laughs> and just being like, oh, who's he? He looks cool. And then we've been playing Persona Five since then, so it's like, I think Smash Bros does that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the correct answer is indeed Joker. Well done. Yeah. Step closer Finally. to home. <laughs> the chaser also put the Joker. Very good, very good. Okay, so you're closer to home now. That's very good, very good. Let's move on to the next question. The DLC areas for Pokemon Sword and Shield were called the Isle of Armor and the What Tundra. Is it A, Scepter, B, Crown, or C, Jewel? So what was the DLC called? The second part of the DLC. Okay. Not, you've gone with B, Crown. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of this one. Okay. I've, I've saw so many adverts for it. My little one's been playing it. So I'm pretty certain of this one. Okay, fair enough. That's all right then. The correct answer is indeed crown. Very good. Very good. Step closer to home. Uh, Pixel. The chaser also put crown. Very good. Very good. You only need two more questions and how not. Hopefully we can get them. Cool. Let's move on. In the Fire Emblem series, Thorin is a type of what? Is it A, a sword? Is it B, an item? Or is it C, a spell? What is Thorin? Right. Not, you've gone ahead and put C, spell. Yeah, I'm not 100% on this one, but I when you said it, I thought spell at first, so I feel like that's probably hinting so that I've picked that up somewhere. <laughs> okay. The correct answer is spell. Well done. <laughs> one step close to home, and you only need one question left now. Good, 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 good. The, the chaser has also put C, spell. Very good. Final question, potentially. Let's see. Sure. In The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, what relation is Sidon to the champion Mipha? Is it A, brother, B, cousin, or C, partner? What relation is Sidon to the champion Mipha? Can you read the answers again? Sorry. A, brother, B, cousin, or C, partner. Okay. Not. Why did you choose A? Because <laughs> I'm just crapping myself, sorry. I just like, if I get this wrong, then I'm just foiling everything for myself. <laughs> Okay. Not the correct answer is brother. Well done. You're through. You're through for the I was I was torn because I was like I've seen it written down. It it sounds very different. 
Well done, so that's 1,600 points in the bank and Not is back for the final chase. We've only got one contestant left now. So we might as well bring him on. It's timer. Timer, welcome. It's lovely to see you. Thank you for joining oh, us this evening. That, that was just one second, but it seemed a long time. It seemed a long time. Yeah. Which group are you from? I hope you've got a, uh, from South Wales Boyor, representing Wales. Camry. Very good. Can I take those points back across the bridge with me? Oh, yeah. Yep. Good luck with that. We'll see. Well, I hope the Zelda questions are out of the way, so I'm oh. feeling more confident now that we're two out of the way. Are you sure? Oh, uh, that's my that's my weak spot. Um, I'm an old man who hasn't played any Zelda games, so oh, let's dear. hope. Let's hope. Okay. Uh, what's your favourite Switch game then? Go on. Uh, my favourite Switch game is a very avant-garde indie game. It's called Dot Cat Milk. It's probably the best piece of art on the Switch. Definitely give those developers ten bucks right now. That's an advertisement. If I ever saw one, I hope you're not. Getting it is. Paid it's. For that. I cannot recommend this game highly enough. I hope you're not getting paid for that. And I hope if you are. <laughs> I hope good. I am. I hope It'd be nice good. to find that out. I hope that's all good. I'm not aware, but yeah. <laughs> well, if the Samaritans get ten bucks from Dark Hand Milk, that's uh... actually just give ten bucks to the Samaritans. Don't, yeah. don't spend that on Dark Hand Milk. Yeah. Or spend ten pounds and get ten raffle tickets for our lovely ten raffle, raffle tickets, which you could win Switch 50, credits. Yeah, it's fifty pounds eShop yeah. voucher potentially. So do that now. Type uh, exclamation mark raffle in chat or type exclamation mark donate in chat and you get some I would but I'm on a quiz right now so yes, uh, I can I'll, tell I'll you. do the quiz then I'll go yeah yes okay right so are you ready for your questions I am so ready for these questions I'm not but let's go get ready timer as your yeah. time starts uh -huh. mm. now what vehicle does Wario incorporate into his Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Attacks? I'm gonna go golf cart. It's motorcycle. What number oh. comes after Super Mario to make the title of the limited time Nintendo Switch Online exclusive game? 35? Correct. Which two colour variations is the Nintendo Switch OLED edition available in? Oh god. It's like a grey slate one? No, I, I pass. It's neon and white. What is the name of the Galar region's champion in Pokemon Sword and Shield? Oh! The guy with the hair! No, I pass. Leon. The Animal Crossing villager Raymond wears what accessory oh, no. <laughs> on his face? Glasses? Correct. Very good, very good. Shame about those questions. Some of them probably were a bit difficult. But you did pretty well considering. That's 200. What do you think about that performance? Oh, I feel very old. I feel so old right now. Um, yeah, I, I hope you guys aren't too offended if I take a low offer. I just want to, you know... I Because I, I've seen this chaser and he knows his stuff. And he's half my age. And he's played a lot of Switch games. So, what do you guys think? If you want to go for the low offer, take it. Yeah, Pixel's not going to give another horrible low offer. Nafti was shamed, so... You know, <laughs> I mean, we, we, we need you back more than anything. So he could offer me more, what, you know? Yeah, he could. So see, see if you can guilt trip him, you know? Uh, but no, um, see what he offers and do whatever you're comfortable with. We're happy either way. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely get back with, with what you've got. It's his penultimate entrance of this evening. Let's bring back the chaser. I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Pixel. What did you think of time as a, a, a lovely experience there? Yeah. Done some good stuff there. You're, 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 some you're being way too nice here, aren't you? You're not used to being a, in, a, in a power position, perhaps. 
yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't control Chaos or Order. It's too much for me. <laughs> okay, so offers. We've got 200 in the middle. What are we going for? What, what's the low offer? Low one is going to be 199. <laughs> okay, 199 <laughs> it is. And for the high offer? I, I can't go lower. <laughs> for the high offer, it's probably like uh, 1,000. 1,000? Oh my gosh. Okay, timer. Do you want to talk with your team and uh, see what they think about this? I want to talk with the team now because I wasn't expecting 1,000. I mean, it's tempting. Um, I wouldn't be too enticed in that 199. It's also good enough, you know, one step closer from one point less. Um, the wrong choice would be in the middle one here. I'd say okay. go high or go low. Definitely win here in the uh, in the final for those old obscure games. So I'd take the 199. Yeah, I agree. Definitely. Okay, I'm I'm gonna take the easy way out and go 199. Are you sure? Are you sure yeah. about that? I. You really sure? Yeah. That one thousand. The there's a lot. There's a lot of Legend of Zelda and Animal Crossings in the world, and I don't know anything about them. In bosses, I wouldn't have got the last Animal Crossing question, so we're going one nine nine. Oh, are you serious now? <laughs> <laughs> and that is not my final oh. boss. Well, take one thousand or not. <laughs> so all the costs go back on. <laughs> You're going for the one nine nine, are you? I'm going one nine nine. Right. Okay. Let's get your first question up, shall we? What is the name of the planet where Metroid Dread is set? Is it A, ZDR? Is it B, VFR? Or is it C, ZAP? All right, we've got your answers in. Time that you've gone with A, ZDR. Yeah, I'm old enough to remember the first time Metro Dread was going to come out. Unfortunately, I didn't pay much attention to it the second time, so this is a guess. Okay, fair enough. The correct Sounds more sci-fi than the other two. Oh, yeah. The correct answer... The correct answer is indeed ZDR. Well done, that's one step closer to home. The Chaser has also put A for DR. So you're only two questions away from potentially getting your lovely points in the bank and joining the rest of your team in the final chase. And, Love those points. and the Chaser has joined the board. Let's get on to the next question, shall we? Nia, Jin, and Poppy feature in which 2017 title? Is it A, Xenoblade Chronicles 2? Is it B, Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore? Or is it C, Damon X Machina? So, Timer, you've gone with A, Xenoblade yep. Chronicles 2. Do you know the game? Yep. I know the game well, full of some great Welsh voice actors and actresses, including Mia, who's from uh, Slyathley. So it, it's definitely Xenoblade. Okay. The correct answer is Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Well done. Very close to home now. Only one more question to go, and you're back in the bank. Uh, Pixel. The Chaser went also with A. Have you played Best. Xenoblade Chronicles 2? No, you haven't, you, because you said before you haven't, which oh, is yeah. absolute disgrace. Was that, was that <laughs> a, a little bit... However, Nia is pretty cool. I'll just say that. No spoilers. He's got the cat thing going on. No, no spoilers. No, no spoilers. Yeah. No. Okay, so that's very close now. Very close. As in, you're close to the home, the home stretch. Well, the, the goal. Whatever you want to call it. Call it Wales. I want to get back there. You want to get back to Wales. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's go on with potentially our final question. Okay. 
What is the maximum amount of Street Pass hits you could have at any one time in the Nintendo 3DS Street Pass Mii Plaza? Is it A, 5, B, 10, or C, 20? Timer. Yes. You've gone with C, 20. I thought it was more. I remember it taking like quite a while for all the little me's to walk past. So. Okay. Timer, the correct answer is B, 10. I'm so sorry, you're staying where you are for now. The chaser has gone correct with 10. Do you enjoy getting your Street Pass hits, Pixel? Always. I still take my 3DS out today, like, everywhere. <laughs> Hope the games from Street Pass still, actually still do. Oh, fun. wow. That's surprising, but very good. We love, a, we love a Street Pass. Okay, so the chase is one step closer. Still got a good gap between you, so don't worry too much. We'll just move on to the next question. Let's go. What year did Super Nintendo World open at Universal Studios Japan? Was it A, 2020, B, 2021, or C, 2022? Timer, why did you decide to choose B? I went with, I went with B, I knew it opened during the pandemic. Uh, I know it opened with the Mario Kart VR ride, and it must have taken at least a year for that ride to get from Japan to the UK. So, pretty confident. The correct answer for 199 points. Is B 2021, Ooh. well done, you're through to the final chase. Well done, timer. Well done with your lovely points. It's going to be a, a hard final chase. Yes, it is indeed. So, wow, we've got a full house. It's a miracle. Well done, everyone. 1,799 points. Everyone's getting a nice little prize there. At least one, I suppose. And maybe a 99 out of 100th one for a timer there. <laughs> That's a little bit off the corner. <laughs> So wow, we've got 1,799 points in the bank, a full house, and they're ready to take on any questions that the chaser might get wrong in the final chase. The chaser will have 20 questions that they have to answer in two minutes. If they get all those questions correct, our, our players will leave with nothing. If the chaser gets a question wrong, our team will have a chance to confer an answer. If they get it correct, they push the chaser back where he belongs. If they get it wrong, the chaser stays where they are and the time continues. So for the final time this evening, the chase is on. So team, before we start, I'd like to ask you to confer and figure out which of you is going to be a, our captain and who will finalise every answer you potentially give. So, can you have a little discussion now, please? Oh, I think it has to be Joel. He's not got a single question wrong yet. He's my vote. True. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely my vote. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Joel, you'll be our team captain here. So, let's bring back the chaser for the final time this evening. Pixel, welcome back. Are you scared? Not at all. Oh, not at all. Wow, okay. There's some confidence going on here. So do you understand what's going on here, Pixel? You've got 20 questions to answer in two minutes. If you if you get them all right, you've caught them. 
if you get one wrong we stop the time and they can answer yep are you Sounds ready good me. right yes so let's bring the counter on the screen 20 questions remaining I've got the questions here right in my hand. So, for the final time this evening, Pixel, your time starts now. What Mario Amiibo was released alongside Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury? Cat Mario. Correct. Name the main character in Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Shulk. Correct. Which toy con was bundled in with the Nintendo Labo VR kit starter set alongside the VR goggles? Robot kit. Stop, that's wrong. Team, what do we think? It's the blast gun, I think. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go with the blaster. Blaster? That's correct. We push the chaser back one step. 19 to go. You've got... Mm, 1 minute 40 to go. Well, 1 minute 45-ish. How are you feeling? Are you, are you nervous now? No, not, not right now. No, not right now. Okay. Your time starts again. Now, what are the names of the upcoming Generation 9 Pokemon games? Violet and Sapphire. That's wrong. Team, what, team, what do we it's think? Scarlet. Yeah, Scarlet, it is isn't it? Scarlet yeah. and Violet. Scarlet yeah. and Violet. That's yeah. absolutely correct. We push the chaser back once again. You ready, Pixel? Yes. Your time starts again. Now, how many Monster Hunter series titles are currently available on Nintendo Switch? Two. That's wrong. <laughs> Team, how many Monster Hunter titles are It'll available be, on Nintendo he's, Switch? He's talking the three, side story ones. Yeah. Because you've got stories, um, Generations Ultimate and um, Rise. So it should be three. Right. Stories two out yet? Or is that a thing? Yeah, that... stories two. Stories one was on the 3DS. Right, okay. Sweet. So We're going to go with three. Okay. You're absolutely correct. It is three titles. Push the chaser back. Now he's sweating. Now he's sweating, isn't he? I didn't know Stories was a main game. It's part of the Monster Hunter series. Oh, man. Isn't it? So. <laughs> oh, dear. It's okay. It's okay. You've got a minute 30 left. Plenty of time. Your time starts again. Now, the spell Elwind features in which Nintendo franchise? Fireman. Correct. What type of cards were bundled with every 3DS system? Octopus. Correct. How many main characters are featured in the game Octopath Traveler? Eight. Correct. What are the names of the orbs you throw at Pokemon to make them glow in New Pokemon Snap? G Globals. Stop, that's wrong. Team, what do we think? I can't even remember. What, <laughs> what, the question is, what are the names of the orbs you throw at Pokemon to make them glow in New Pokemon Snap? I believe it's Illumina Balls. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's go yeah. for that. Oh, nice. is that. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Chase is nodding, so it's our final answer. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. You push the chaser back once again. Nineteen to go. A minute left. Your time starts again. Now, in Animal Crossing, what kind of animal is Isabel? Dog. Oh. Correct. On a on a right Joy-Con, what button is below the control stick? A. Stop the clock. That's not correct. Team. It'll be an X because it'll be. Oh no, it's them. 
the first yeah, yeah, the dwarf is a it's home the Yeah, it's yeah, the yeah home Hatch's left, yeah. isn't it? And home's yeah. right. Yeah, home's yeah. yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, we, so we are going to go with home button as our final answer. That's correct. We push the chaser back again. Chaser, it's not it's not your day, is it? Unfortunately. It's it's not yeah. your day, is it, Chaser? Friday the thirteenth. Yeah. Say. Very true. Your time starts again now. What is the name of the band featuring Perla Marina? Uh, off the hook. Correct. What is the surname of Fox from the Star Fox series? McCloud. Correct. What is the Pokemon that features on the cover of Pokemon Shield? I don't know. Pops. Zamazenta. That, that would be Zamazenta. Zamazenta, yeah. That's correct. Yeah. We push the chaser back again. To now 18 questions remaining. About 40... About 30, 40 seconds remaining. It's looking tough. It's looking tough. Here we go. We're starting again. Now, fill in the blank. Blank Detective Club, The Missing Air. Uh, club. Stop the clock, that's incorrect. It's not it's club. Famicom. Team. It's Famicom. It's oh, Famicom, is it? The club. It's the yeah, right. of the Famicom yeah, that's game. it. Yeah. That's, that's correct. We push the chaser back once again. 19 to get. Less than 30 seconds remaining now. Time starts again. Now, what is the name of the origami companion in Paper Mario the Origami King? Uh, King? <laughs> Stop the clock. <laughs> Team, do we know this question? Olivia? Do we know the answer? Uh, Olivia. Yes, Olivia, fine answer. Olivia? That's correct. Yeah. We push the chaser back. 20 left to get. Your time starts again now. How many full heart containers are required to release the Master Sword in Breath of the Wild? 20. Stop the clock. It's not correct. Does anyone know the answer to this question? How many full heart containers are required to release the Master Sword in Zelda Breath of the Wild? I think it's going to be a round number. It's going to be ten or fifteen. I think it's going to be dwarf ten. It's it's like at least two rows. I was thinking twelve. That's what first came to my head. I thought thirteen to finish the ball. Need an answer, please. Um, I think it's slightly more than twelve, personally. But right, that's what we'll do. We'll we'll go for thirteen, please. Final answer. Thirteen. Sorry if it's wrong. Thirteen. Final answer. Yes. In some kind of miracle, you're correct. It is 13. We push the chaser back once again. 21 to get. That was that was quite a play there. Not sure how it was done, but here we go. Your time starts again. Now, Luigi's Mansion 3 is set in what kind of building? Hotel. Correct. Which sport type starter Pokemon was added to Pokémon Tournament DX by DLC? Did you? Did did you? The, the bird. The, did, I can't. Time is up. The players have won. The chaser has lost. Congratulations, team. Well done. Well done, all. Well done. Well done. Chaser, what do you think of that performance? You had twenty questions to to get. I just slipped. That's all. <laughs> you the pressure was on. You did yes. your best. Thank you. Thank you for being our chaser again. I really appreciate it. What was the answer for the final question, quickly? Which question? The po Pokemon Tournament one. It was Blastoise. Ah, Blastoise. Yeah. yeah. Pokemon, Blastoise. it's not my uh, coffee, let's say. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Team. Amazing. How did you do it? I don't know, especially that Zelda question with the 13 heart containers. That was very, very well played. That was, that was very a, lucky. That, that was very good between Cyber and Joel there, with Cyber saying that there's definitely more than 12, and Joel saying 12 in the first place. So well done. Well done all.
It was all team work. We had a great team and uh, yeah. we managed to do it on a day. But Pixel was great too. You know, he was absolutely solid throughout um, with the individual chases. So well done to him. Yeah. Oh, well done to all of you, honestly. Uh, beat me. Whoa. <laughs> jeez, jeez. Well done. Thank so, you again. Well oh. done for writing a good Nintendo quiz. Oh, no, that's all right. I did what I could. Uh, hmm. I've still got loads of questions left over, though, so that's good. Loads of questions left over. So thank you again to our team. Thank you again, Cyber Joel, Not Timer. You've all won prizes. I'll be in touch. So, yep. how did you do in chat? Tweet at us at M Nintendo Play UK and tell us what your score was. What did you like? What did you not like? Did you get any specific question right? Did you beat out anyone? Maybe there'll be another time. Maybe you can join us. Maybe you can apply. Or maybe you'll be our next chaser. Thank you again to everyone. Thank you for Cyber, Joel, Timer, Not, Pixel. But thank you for watching. Thank you for inspiration, uh, ITV's The Chase. Thank you to Paul Farrer, uh, the composer of this lovely music, who kindly reached out to us on Twitter and sent us this. Uh, it's, I think it's made the experience very nice. Um, and again, exclamation mark donate in chat, exclamation mark raffle in chat. Raising money for Samaritans, it's Mental Health Awareness Week. This is going out on Sunday, so it'll be the last day, so make sure you get everything in now. £50 eShop voucher up for grabs in that raffle. Get that done. Thank you again, and we'll see you next time. Whenever that may be. Thank you. Good night.